Welcome to another episode of NBA 2K20 Roster Edits. And today we're going to look at the Brooklyn Nets slash New Jersey Nets slash New York Nets. And they were referred to as the New York Nets back in their ABA days when Dr. J played for them. So if you're not too familiar with the ABA-NBA merger, the Nets were an expansion team when the ABA folded, so to speak. And they joined the league along with the Pacers and the Spurs and the Nuggets. And now they are currently the Brooklyn Nets. So, let's just go through the stock roster and I'll tell you the additions and subtractions that I recommend for this team. Again, the beauty of NBA 2K20 is you can make the rosters however you see fit. These are just simply my recommendations. Always check below down in the honorable mentions. Maybe your favorite players listed there. So, small forward, Dr. J, Julius Irving, starting point guard, Jason Kidd, shooting guard, the great Draza and Petrovic, Vince Carter, small forward, Buck Williams, power forward, Kenny Anderson, point guard, Brooke Lopez, center, Richard Jefferson, small forward, power forward, Derek Coleman, Point guard D'Angelo Russell, point guard Devin Harris, small forward Keith Van Horn, shooting guard Otis Birdsong, shooting guard Kendall Gill, power forward center Kenyon Martin, rounds out the end of the list. Alright, so the ones that I recommend you delete are shooting guard Kendall Gill, point guard Devin Harris, and point guard D'Angelo Russell. And the reason I decided to delete them is there's a lack of big men on this team. I feel that there's one individual from the ABA days that played center that needs to be recognized as one of the all-time greatest nets. Secondly, I'm adding a point guard to this team that was a great point guard for many years with the Nets franchise. And finally, there's a shooting guard that I'm adding over Kendall Gill that is very often overlooked as one of the best players in Nets history and the NBA for sure. So let me tell you who those recommendations are. All right, so your starting point guard is none other than Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd helped lead the Nets in the early 2000s to mid-2000s to many successful seasons. So Kidd is your starting point guard. Starting shooting guard is the late Drazen Petrovic. For some of the younger viewers, you may not recognize this player's name. He was tragically lost in the early, 19, early to mid-1990s, I guess you would say, to a car accident in Europe. However, he is considered one of the best European players ever to play the game. Um, of course, Dirk Nowitzki kind of holds that title, but Drazen Petrovic definitely would have probably been one of the greatest of the 1990s before it was all said and done. So he is the starting shooting guard. None other than Dr. J at the small forward. Who else? I put Derek Coleman at the starting power forward position. You can move back and forth between Buck Williams and Derek Coleman in my opinion. I feel Derek Coleman gets the slight edge because he, he's a little better offensively. However, if you have a need a defensive stopper, Buck Williams is your guy to leave in the starting lineup. And I put Brooke Lopez as the starting center. Lopez played some very good seasons with the Nets before he moved on to the Milwaukee Bucks. Backup small forward Vince Carter had some great seasons there. And this is the first addition to the team. And this is backup point guard Darren Williams. Again, Darren Williams is not found on the game. I had to also add him for the all-time jazz, if you recall. But Darren Williams was a great player for a long time with the Nets, and he is definitely a great backup to Jason Kidd. So the first addition to the team is Darren Williams. There's Buck Williams. We talked about Buck. He, he was a great player for a long time with the Nets. You could probably slot him in at the starting power forward if you'd rather have him in there instead of Derek Coleman. That's totally up to you. Now this is the next guy I add, and this is John Williamson. A lot of people don't know John Williamson, but John Williamson was a pretty good offensive player. He was a, he was a good uh, mid-range player. He could shoot the ball, 
you know, from just about anywhere on the court. You know, he wasn't, you know, a three-point specialist per se, but he could knock down a three if he needed to. And this was before the three-point line, primarily during his, during his career. But he was he was a definitely a great player, definitely somebody that is a great great backup to Drazen Petrovic. You know, his defensive skills aren't the best, but he's he's a very good offensive player. So John Williamson has his number retired by the Nets, so definitely belongs on the all-time Nets team. Now this is the guy I was talking about that played center, Billy Paltz. Billy Paltz was on the ABA franchise. He also played in the NBA for some teams, but he was the big man on the ABA Nets teams and he was their, you know, their center. Being this team lacks a lot of big guys, big centers, I feel that you could even argue maybe he belongs in the starting lineup over Lopez, but great defensive player, great rebounder, definitely somebody you want to have on the all-time Nets team. Point guard Kenny Anderson, like Derek Coleman, it was the Kenny Anderson and Derek Coleman show in the early 1990s for the Nets. Definitely worth keeping him on the roster as the backup to Darren Williams. Richard Jefferson is the backup small forward. Jefferson's kind of a defensive specialist, but he can also, you know, throw in some points when needed. But Jefferson was an important part of those teams that Jason Kidd was the point guard on and uh, was definitely a good player for a long time for the Nets, so I keep him on the roster. And I keep Kmart, Kenyon Martin, as the backup power forward slash center. Well, again, backing up Paltz and Lopez coming off the bench. He could also play some power forward if needed. Martin was a very strong defensive player and rebounder. Could uh, score some points as well. Definitely a good guy to have as the 13th man on the bench. I round out the roster with guys that are already there. Otis Birdsong at the shooting guard and Keith Van Horn at the small forward. I almost deleted Keith Van Horn, but I chose not to do so, and I kept him on there. And the honorable mention that I want to mention is Bill Melchioni, who's a point guard. I felt that adding a fourth point guard really was kind of fruitless on this team because even if I added Melchioni, he would be on the reserve list, and it really wouldn't matter because he wouldn't get any minutes behind Williams, Anderson, and Kidd. So I just left Van Horn alone. He can play the small forward, he can play the power forward. I just don't put him in the uh, top 13. So who coaches this team? Kevin Lowry. And Lowry was there when they won their championship in the 1970s in the ABA. So by that, I want to say that he is probably the most successful coach in Nets history. So hopefully you agree with my choices. I made a few changes to the Nets. Hopefully we'll see those guys in the updated version next year. So tell me what you think below. Thanks for joining me for another episode.